Hello Internet, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. This is episode 50. We're already on 50. <laughs> and I am Coop52. Last time we started the DLC, the Frozen Wilds, we made our way up into the cut, which is this land up here. And we did the tall neck. We had to put him back together again. Bless his heart, he was broken. Today we're going to continue on with the main quest, so we have to find this apprentice Naltuk. He is apprentice to the shaman Aurea, who is this Warak or groups or whatever you want to define it as shaman, and basically we're trying to convince them to not kill themselves and do something stupid. Use a skill. Got machine repair, mount repair, dismount strike. I can't do that one, so by default I have to do that. So these over here the frozen wild skills that you get. A lot of these are just nice to have. The mount repair, machine repair, and mount repair are basically if you get like emotionally attached to your mounts, that would be useful. I know a lot of people have said that they would like to nickname their mounts and have multiple ones at the same time so that you don't have to get rid of your your buddy. Bergren said Aurea's apprentice went north of the river. Plus, yeah, let's That's follow these dudes. Okay. Let's just follow these dudes. What are y'all doing? The Newt Wanderer. So I guess these dudes are like the, the Carter soldiers or the Nora Braves where they'll hunt machines and stuff. Our apprentice dude is at that the river. Looking out at the It looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. All right, let's find out what that little weird purple light is. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Osteram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Aurea. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Okay, so one thing of note is that those pulses, if we're in the area of that... Hold on, let me kind of step down here so I can show you, rather than just tell you. So let's wait for it to pulse again. So the the pulses from these towers, you can see in this little purple area where it affects, they will negate the shield effect of the shield weaver. So the the fancy or the outfit we just got is now useless. So <laughs> I'm going to change it back to the Nora Protector. And let's see if I've got any other weaves I would like to put on it. 15 resist range, 14 resist range. Uh, 
Let's do that. Let's see what we got going on here. We got a long leg. Scrappers, scrappers, scrapper. And as she mentioned, there are two things you can do with this. You can either kill the tower or override the tower. Let's see. be able to destroy all the machines we have to destroy or override the towers. This is basically what this quest is, is a tutorial for this. And like with Tonex, He's making like ravager noises. Do you mind? Oh, hi, chicken. Oh wow, he knocked the tree down. I don't think I need any more sparkers, but whatever, it's fine. I'll pick them up. Always can sell them. And this dude Nell took over here didn't have any confidence. Oh, there we go. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Araya's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout. A speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me. An aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea 
when they attacked the mountain. I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Orea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her? I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, let's go up right. this shaman's path. Watch the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. I hear the tall neck. Oh, cause it's just right there. All right. There's that waterlogged quest. We'll do the waterlogged quest in the next video. Got a saw machine over there. Everything's freezing. The ground, the air, me. I think we're going in the right direction. I see lots of blue gleam. The neck painting. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Hello, merchant. Grab the box. There's also some outfits that you can get with blue gleam. They're very similar to the, the purple ones. You can get in Meridian, they just... Let's see, the Carja Blazing Master has a thing of 60. Whereas the... Okay, so they do have better starting stats than what you can actually buy. Where it runner fully recovers health over time. Ooh. And I'm only missing one slag shine glass to get it. Well, after we do the bandit camp, I may have enough. I should have enough to get that. Anyways, back to the quest. Up the mountain we go. There's anything for us to pick up on the path. So far, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, there's the climbing path. <laughs> Grab the medicine. Save these for the trail. Oh, that's pretty. I don't remember there being any combat in this mission. I think it's mostly just climbing puzzles. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be rough. This must be one of the markers Maltuk told me about. But along the way, we have to activate these markers. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Except there. 
Sometimes you, if you go the wrong way you can find treasure. It's also very easy to get lost. into the cold, creepy ice cave. Okay, I think... Better go back after I grab this loot. <laughs> Read my mind. I wonder how they reset those What's little markers. For? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. So that I understand, it just kind of is there. I wonder how they reset those little light marker things for each trainee that comes through here. Let's go up here. Let's see. There's nothing. Just. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It, it is something. Another marker. Good. Sorry. I want to go down every path just to make sure I don't miss anything. I go back to where I was. You can follow the, the wind through here too, I think. Okay, that's where I was. And there's that original wind chime. Yeah, that's what I was looking for the way. fork. Isn't the way out. Some gear, though. All right. Anyways. Back to the originally scheduled. Going through here. Dead end. But at least there's stuff. I don't remember if there's any good loot through here. There's another marker. Okay, that way then. That's we're gonna go see. I took a wrong turn. That I think is the correct way. Let's go check out the incorrect way. See if there's anything fun and or exciting. Oh, I thought that was a wait. Back. <gasps> the chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. No, we did. Where? 
I see. Up. Ooh, that was close. Oh, look how shiny that ice is. And that's neat, you have to go trigger the, hey, we didn't need to go this way thing before it figures it out for you. Stalkers. Oh, there is combat, okay. We're not going to go down that way just quite yet. Actually, I think this way does lead down to Stalkerland. This lets me get a hold of them. Let me activate the marker. That one's mostly dead. Oh, there was... There's more. I think this way is the land, or the way to Stalker Land. Yeah. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's remain here. That one. doesn't want to come out. The one that's almost dead doesn't want to come back out. Alright, I don't like doing this. that loot because I think we're in the cave with the stalkers now. Oh! You can't shoot at me, I'm in a cutscene! Remember how many are down here? There should be three, just like normal. I don't know. If there's a third one down here, we'll find it. Or I guess not. We're out of stalker land. And we're out of the cave. I think. There wasn't any 
little lame for me to take. Hold on. I don't know, maybe there, there's more. <sighs> Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? Here's another photo op. Everything looks just so pretty. There's a nice little lake down there. Oh, let's activate the marker. Across the river, and then what? Oh, now I remember. This is Looks like it needs to fill up with water before I can close. I'm probably gonna die several times doing this because this sucks ass. Oh, never mind. I did it first try. <laughs> Platforming is not my strong suit. Then we go. Okay. Now how do I cross this one? There's the way up. Oh, there's a something over here for us to grab. Pigment. So that will come up later. Pigments are one of our collectibles for the DLC. Let's see if I can do this in one try again. Yes. There. Hooray! So far so good. I have not died yet on this. go up there for something, but I don't remember what. There. I don't remember this quest being this long. Ow. that. Oh, it's one of our new machines. Bourbon wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. 
Alright, we won't play with him just yet. I think we've got a little bit before we have to. Oh, let's activate our marker. Onward and upward. Let's just see. So, we started the path down here and we've gone all the way up here. Alright, we discovered a campfire. There's a reason that it's giving you resist frost. And we have another tower up ahead. Let's pull the marker first. So before we do anything else, let's scan the area. down. Whoops! Cutscene. Claw. Is there another one of our new machines? They're a big icy bear. They have free sex on their shoulders and their chests, and they have a parasol. So the way to do these is to pop their their free sack. And he is patrolling in a very, very tiny area around there, so I'm gonna apply a resist frost potion. <laughs> Although, let me craft a few more actual potions. I'll craft one more potion. Override quickly, override quickly, override quickly, override quickly, override quickly, override quickly. There. Alright, while he is shocked. Uh. <laughs> that was dumb. up under him because as you can see he's got big old claws and he hits really hard why does it keep putting me on the cheapo ammo potion on. I haven't really bothered with potions all that much in the base game because honestly most things don't need it. But things that the present wilds do. Oh this is the worst place to be. There we 
we go. He's iced up again. Just shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Woo! Frost claws are down. Now back to finding Araya. Which means I've got to climb. So frost claws, I was saying, they're, to me, a bit more difficult than the scorchers are, mostly because they hit quite a bit harder. At least they can be. I should be able to get up there. Anyway, back to looking up for Araya. Yeah, I had completely forgotten it forces you into a fight with a frost claw. <laughs> Feels like sunburn. Oh. Sideways. There's grass right here. Why? Why is there grass? I start getting concerned when I see stealth grass. I don't really remember much of this mission. This must be the shrine Neltuk was talking about. I guess I should take some blue gleam. Yes. Okay. I can see that a lot. Okay. So let's let's look at our resources. Or no, that'd be under special, I think. Yep. Blue gleam. We have five pieces. That's enough to get something. Took said Aurea went past the shrine up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. I'm surprised these stairs are still in decent condition. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. Time to explore. Oh, data point. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but. Every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. That's slightly creepy. Just a little bit. Teeny tiny bit creepy. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? A good question. Oh, that's a dead end. Why are we parkouring into nothing? Oh, I thought I saw another data point over there. We're not going that way, we're going this way. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. He sounds kind of a di like a dick. Just a little bit. Let's just see what we got going on over here. More data points. 
Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Looks like the door's wired. There's something over here. What's the text? Oh, we accidentally came to the place we were supposed to go anyway. <laughs> Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. So now we get to do some puzzle solving. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? Okay. These things turn, changing the flow of light. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I just ran in a circle for no reason. <laughs> Wait, what? Where's the dang door? Where is it back the way I came? Oh, I think we were supposed to come in here and figure out the door was locked and then go through the little crawly tunnel thing. Before I do that, let's go in here. See if there's anything fun and exciting. Nope. Just a desk. What about in here? Nope. Nope. This is like a serious mega ultra door. Okay. the right way to go. Goodness gracious. A lot of climbing. Fresh air ahead. Oh, there's the fresh air. I can get back inside through that structure over there. <laughs> Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Too bad. I'm usually wary when we have to drop, jump across huge chasms like that. Did it 
yes, I discovered that. I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. She must be in pretty good shape to do all this. Okay, just note the dates on that. This, those emails and stuff were sent like 20-ish years before the Zero Dawn project, so this all happened during the, or whatever the emails were going back forth to happen during what they called the clawback. I think that was around that time, lore wise Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Is there anything else in here? Nope, not that I can tell. There's a ray right there. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Hello. No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. Show you. Yes, show me. Please. Great, more puzzles to solve. But well, we're gonna get this data point first. And also, I'm going to. What kind of animal? Pick up some stuff. Of the old ones. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. So that figurine is another one of the collectibles for the DLC. Anyway, let's do the puzzle. Is the same. Get the light back to the source. Okay. So this one has quite a bit more. Thingies to turn. Probably was not it.
now. Run to this one. And then this one. There's a lot of running around. <laughs> lots and lots of running around. Right? I did that right, right? Nope. Nope, nope. There it goes. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Whoa. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is closing. Orea, transmission. That's creepy. Your creepy eyeball friend had something bad attack. happened to him. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Sounds like our silence. As the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. He seemed to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off. Alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me, but I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. 
And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of blue light, that which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines, the essence of life, and in its purest form, harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world, and the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begs for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. Oh. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's try again one about more time silence? about silence. I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call the daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter, and I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. And Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. 
What do I have to do? Get the Weirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Cool. Thanks for the present. All right, we got, let's see, animal figure, we now have 11 pieces of blue gleam, Oops. ooh, purple things. Weapon satchel is full. No, it's not. So let's check out our new weapon. Banook Storm Slinger. Charge fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up larger charge and deal increased damage. I've never actually really used this, so I have no idea if it's any good or not. So this is the way out. I think there's frost between my teeth. So now I don't want to do the tutorial. Before the wear act, we have to complete some of these things. One of them is overriding the tall neck. So you have to complete two out of the four. So you can clear the bandit camp. Play to trial at the hunting grounds, or do whatever this Sakuli person wants. I think we're gonna do the waterlog quest next. However, it's it's quite lengthy, so it's gonna probably take a whole video. So I'm just going to go to the campfire that's close by and save the game there. We're going to end the episode here. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see you next time.